Hey, what's going on guys? It is DJ Mojo, Saving the City, one party at a time. I wanna welcome you to another video here on my YouTube channel. And in this video, I'll be explaining my wireless solution. In my previous YouTube video, I shared with you the Sennheiser and how I use the Sennheiser to transmit audio wirelessly without any XLR cables. I found another solution, which is now my favorite, is using the Shure QLX D receiver and the transmitter. So stay tuned in this video if you're interested in learning more about this system, whether you already own some Shure QLX D microphone receivers and the body pack, you know, this video may be for you. I currently use my Bose T8S mixer. If you don't know what that is, I'll leave a, the video in the card up here and a link in the, in the description below so you can check that video out. But using my Bose T8S mixer, I have four aux sends and in one of my aux sends is what I send out to my wireless speakers. So let me show you my mixer board right now, the T8S from Bose. So this is my Bose T8S mixer and there are four aux sends. I'm, I'm currently using one aux send, aux send number two right here to transmit the audio wirelessly to my speakers. So the way I program this is I have eight channels right here and on my last channel, I program it for aux two to send out at level, a 50% level dry. So I have my iPod connected to right here, connected to channel eight and I can choose which channel to send out to aux send number two. In this case, I have it in dry. You have different options right here, whether you want it pre or post. Dry means that regardless of this fader or this knob right here, the volume level, um, it won't affect the output. So in order to control the output volume, I use my iPod volume right here, which is set to maybe 40 or 50%. Anyways, so what's connected right here is a special cable from, from Sure. It doesn't come with the body pack from Sure. So you have to buy this separately on Amazon or maybe Guitar Center. But right here is connected to my body pack. It's the Shure QLXD1. So right now it is set to group one, channel 21. What I did is I use a receiver, a matching receiver such as this. This is my microphone, but what I did, I have attached a Shure QLXD receiver on top of one of my battery powered Bose speakers. So I set that Shure QLXD receiver um, I found the best channel to use it and I synced this body pack lavalier to that receiver and it's set to group one channel 21. So I have one speaker right there. I'm using that as a side fill and I have another side fill speaker on the other side of the room over there and then I have a cocktail hour speaker outside right out there. So what I'm planning on doing is just use one transmitter, one Shure QLXD1 transmitter and sending out this signal to all of them out there. So what I'll have to do is match the other receiver channels to group one, channel 21. So then it all picks up the signal from this body pack. So let me show you how that's done and, and what I found is the best solution uh, for this wireless system. For my side fills, I currently use a gravity stand and a, it's a very simple stand. Instead of the tripod looking, it's just one heavy base and one pole sticking up for this Bose S1 speaker. I chose the Bose S1 just because it is battery powered and it sounds really great. And on top is one of my Shure QLXD receivers. And since there are no power outlets nearby, I have a battery pack from Colorado Sound and Light. So this is currently plugged into the back of my QLXD receiver. I turn it on and I'll let that turn on. Now, as I mentioned in the, in, earlier in this video, I have my receiver set to, to group one, channel 21. So that's what I'm going to do right here. So I go to menu and then I can go to menu, group one, enter, channel. I want that to 21 and it should pick up the same audio. There we go. And see there's a signal right there. It's picking up signal. Now the next thing that I have to do is just turn on my, my Bose speaker. So now right after the receiver is set to channel one group 21, the same as my body pack transmitter. It's all powered up. I turn on the speaker and all I have to do is just increase the volume and you should hear something. And when you see a green light, that's how you know that the volume is going through. There we go. Now it's set, I can raise this up to go make sure it's above people's heads. There we go. And that's it. 
Now this gravity stand has a little peg just to secure it so it won't go down. And there we go, I have it all set. There we go, not bad. So now let's do it one more time for the, for the cocktail hour speaker outside. So this is my Bose S1 speaker. So I hacked it in a way so I can attach my Shure XD receiver on top. What did I put a strip of Velcro and I secured it with some zip ties. And what I have on the bottom of this receiver is the other side of the Velcro. So I just stick it up on top. And on top of this is another Velcro piece for my Colorado Sound and Light, which I plug it on top. Now I charge this overnight, so this should be good to go. Since this wall doesn't have any power outlets, I'm using this as a battery supply. I plug it to the back of my Shure QLXD. Now everything is all wireless. I, I plug in this XLR cable to the back right here. Just like that. And now I'm gonna prop this on top of my speaker stand. See, and then now it is securely attached. It is set to channel 21. And I see that there is some signal going into it. So all I have to do in the back is just turn up my speaker, turn on my speaker, and then I adjust the volume to the volume that I want. So when it's time for the cocktail hour, there it is. So later, when it's time for the cocktail hour, I'm gonna have one of my assistants to adjust the volume appropriately for the cocktail hour. So everything is heard at the same time. The music inside is gonna be heard outside as well. Same music, same microphone, same speeches, so people, when they're, when, whatever they're in or out of the room, they can hear exactly what's going on inside. That's a great benefit of going wireless. No more long XLR cables. And I love this shirt just because I haven't had any dropouts at all. I mean, look at those antennas. Those are pretty serious antennas. <laughs> so it really picks up the signal really well. And yeah, so watch once again. Here's the volume. So it's a completely battery powered solution. I'm using my ultimate stand right here, using the Bose. I ran out of my gravity stands, which I may purchase more in the future. But this is a very simple way of having wireless sound even if you're outside of the room. So once again, your speaker stand, a Bose S1, a Shure QLXD receiver, and it's all connected to the body pack transmitter that I have inside. So yeah, there you have it. So this is my wireless solution. I, I really recommend this for any DJs who are looking to go wireless. And with, with, the, with using this technology, you can have more side fills, you can have more sound reinforcement. And you, when with the power of the Bose T8S mixer, you can control what exactly comes out of these speakers and the volume. So anyways, I hope you found some value in this video, sharing with you some of my tips of what I do to provide proper sound reinforcement. I'll leave the links in the comments section down below so you can check out the gear. But other than that, leave your thoughts in the comments section below if you're already doing this or you're planning on doing it and you have some questions about how I'm doing it. And, and all of that. So anyways, I'm DJ Mojo, saving the city one party at a time. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.